Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm here with Sunfish King at Pink Rock or Amadon. And uh, we're gonna get down here and get him a smallmouth, is what I'm hoping for. All right, we walked on down here to a little spot where it's a little more secluded. Let's see if we can't get something here. small way all right well this is what we're here for people we're gonna try to get him one he just got a bluegill to it back but we're gonna let this little guy go nice try it again Hmm. I'm not quite sure what this is. It might be a, a red ear. Nice, he choked it. Hey, was yours a bluegill? Yeah. Yeah. That might be a, a long ear and an orange sun or a green sunfish mix. I'm not quite sure. Very pretty though. Just toss him back. Now they're small, eh? It's actually a little swim bait, about the size of that first thing I gave. What the? Oh man, this thing just spit out a little fish. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, beautiful little bass. Another one. Oh, let's let him go. Look at this. He spit this out. Here's that little fish he spit out. Use that for bait. <laughs> yeah, they'll come around. That's why he's called the Sunfish King. He can't really keep them things off his line. Double up! Oh, sorry, bud. I hate when that happens. Let's try it over here. There we go. Huh. Rock bass. Really? Yeah. Never got one. Oh, really? Never got one. Where was he hiding at? Right in here. <clears throat> Whoa. Ugh. There he goes.
Green zone fish. Nice. Wearing them out. Oh, here today. These are some healthy guys here. I'm going to hold him out some because they've been jumping on my hand. I don't want him to hit the rock there. Nice cast with this little one here. And we'll head on down the creek. Nice. Yeah. That's stick fisherman down there. That's all right. I'll let him have that title. All right. Well, that spot was caught way more than a thought right here. I'm going to head on down here. Ooh, that's close. All right. Well. Let's just get in there. I guess the closest I've ever got to one of those things without it flying off. Almost catch something? Alright. Green sunfish. Oh. Great sunfish. Whoa, stay out there. I want him hitting this rock here. I only made it to my flat rock. I always thought this was deeper right here. Guess a lot of sand pushed in, but it's a real good little spot over there. Right down there is a real good spot, too. Guess it's a little deeper when you get closer to this thing. Right, let's just get up on here. Whoa. Green sunfish. Very pretty. And aggressive. Tell you what, really, all these fish in here today has been super aggressive. Can't even hardly hold them. They just keep flopping out. But, oh, I like that one. <laughs> He's trying to chew on it. It's uh, funny. There we go. Ooh, beautiful. Another, another one. See, and this one has got that same pattern where I think it might be a part red ear or something. Like a red ear and a green sunfish is what it looks like to me. I don't know though. I haven't caught a lot of red ear. <clears throat> Tell you what, it is a beautiful day. We went to two of my other spots that uh, have clear water and smallmouth because that's what he's wanting to catch where he's from they don't really have have a whole lot of them or have clear water like i got here anyway but uh man it just rained last night so it's just nothing but mud to Oh wow, 
Very pretty. <laughs> I love it. Very pretty. Let's let this guy go. Where's that long hair at? I'm gonna catch one of those. Nice, beautiful. Oh wow, that's an onion. Yeah, these are crazy colors. Yeah, this is actually a good size hook for those too. I need to get some of those long ears. On the way back, I'm gonna have to stop and get one of them long ears out of that one hole. Wow. Pretty crazy, huh? Yeah, that's definitely a little bit different than the ones I catch. Beautiful. There's not as much red on them. Oh, I'm sure. It's gonna be much dumber now. I'll probably bite the bait again after that. Yeah, just, just an empty hook. <laughs> yeah, black spot disease, bad. Is that? That's a parasite. Really? Yeah. Because I have seen that before. It says that if you cook them, that they're still edible, but I don't know if I'd want to. Yeah, right. That's odd, though. We got a lot of black spot around the lake here. And here. Right there's a the long ear. Right. Uh, right in front of this rock. And he'd, he'd come out and chase this, but a little fish got oh, it, jumped on it, so you might be able to get him. Got it. Uh -huh. Oh. I don't know what happened there. There he is. Nice. <laughs> nice. That's a good looking fish. Yeah. That's awesome, too. Like, oh, this one, I'm going to catch this one right here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, it's like uh, shooting fish in a barrel. Oh really? Oh yeah. yeah. You know, sometimes we need to sit here and slay them like this though. It's pretty fun. Uh, it's really you see the color of this one? Look at the belly, it's so red. Like pink. That's a nice looking fish, man. Prettiest fish of the day is definitely gonna go to you. It will sit here and change colors too. <laughs> if you hold it long enough. Like I've, I've done it. Like sometimes you'll pull it out and it'd be super red like that. But by the time you throw it back, it's like, it's yeah. They lose their colors. Same with uh, smallies. Like you'll get that tiger stripe on them. In a couple of videos I haven't even edited yet, where I literally caught probably forty or fifty. Yeah. Always during bad weather. Bad really. Weather is the best. Yeah. If there's like I fished during hail and a tornado warning. And a conservation agent came out. He didn't tell me to leave or anything. He just checked my thing or whatever. I probably caught 45 trout just on power bait doing that. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I got him. Oh, yeah. It's a really, really red one. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> I love that, though. What is that? Got it! <laughs> <Maybe it's laughs> you know? <laughs> All right. You'd think you'd have all kinds of service bouncing off these rocks down here. <laughs> they might make smaller ones now from what I hear, but the one I got, oh, is a five. And, holy cow. <laughs> I was going to set the hook and I pulled my lure and the fish out of the water. <laughs> it was a little green sunfish. <laughs> and it, I mean, it pulled it like 10 feet out of the water, just skipping. They just can't resist it. I mean, they can't get it in their mouth, but they can't resist it. Yeah, I like smaller baits for some reason. I do too. Overall. I mean, even for bass, I try to use the small fish. I'm the only one I know who throws that mini topwater frog. Everyone else just says before. I actually think that's a great idea. There's a lot of places that I've been to lately that has like little baby frogs you know yeah i mean there's little frogs but there's all different types of species of frogs that are a lot smaller like, you know, you know. you're so pretty in the water like that. yeah chartreuse in my yeah. lake if i just go out for like a lunch break like 20 30 minutes i'm catching like 15 fish <laughs> all right like every cat i'm gonna get off this black and chartreuse frog they don't even work in 
Yeah. There he is. Oh. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, like this one's tail is crazy. Crazy color. Yeah. Well, we're heading back up the creek. We're kind of done with this area, but we're going to fish it some more. Wow, look how orange that thing is. Oh, what a beautiful fish. Let me grab my other camera here. Let's let this guy go underwater. Make sure you guys pay attention to these fins here. They're going to look really cool. Big old rock bass. This rock bass is for Panfish Daddy. If you're watching Panfish Daddy, I mentioned you. Look who I got with me, Panfish Daddy. Oh, Sunfish King. You're missing out, buddy. That is. That is. It's really pretty. Almost has that shadow bass look. You know what I mean? Which, and it could be hybrid or something, maybe. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and let this guy go. Uh, there is a large mouth out there for sure. 100% that's what I was trying to get. Rock bass. Another rock bass for Panfish Daddy. I'm gonna keep calling you out. <laughs> wow. Just gonna go ahead and toss this one back. Very pretty though. Check out its eye. Tough little fish. Oh, all right. There it was. Yeah, right where you, there you go. You're bringing it right to you. Oh, I see it. Nice. Little green sunfish. that guy beautiful yeah all
<laughs> I can tell you one thing. I did not know there was this many rock bass in here. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Alright, let's go ahead and toss this guy back. Huh? Yeah, it is, man. It's kind of crazy because these are darker than normal. Yeah, I noticed that. Beautiful yellow tips, though. I love that. Toss him back here. I really don't know how many it is. I mean, I feel like we both caught about 20 today. Hey, that's what I'm saying. Those rock bass, I don't know, I just don't catch them all the time, you know? So it's really cool when you do. I feel like you gotta like fish under the rocks and then you know, Yeah, I tell you what, they're definitely around a lot of wood. Oh, really? Yeah, that's where I caught most of mine at. The basic of the Yeah. Yeah, that would have been fun on that little pole. I brought it with a micro light rod. I just it. Yeah. It's kind of cheap. It's like $20. I didn't want it to break and be down there. Uh, right. That day when I caught 253 crappie halfway through the day, I broke one and had to go buy another one. That's the amount of crappie you caught? Well, I would say about 90% of them. Yeah, well, it's still a lot. <laughs> Like eight hours though, I've got the Yeah. I couldn't do that right now, it's only during the I've had some good days recently where we take the kayak out a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. Rock Bass Central today. I know Panfish Daddy's going to like it, but Urban Jayhawk likes it when I catch them too. This one's for you, Urban. Toss it back. <laughs> Dude, he's tanking it. <laughs> hey, like it's always. Look at this truck I caught. Yeah, he is. He's like a fish whisperer. You might have been one time. Did you? No, I was with Joe Bass in Kansas. Yeah. And Urban jumps out of nowhere and jumps on Joe's back and gave him a heart attack. That's great, man. <laughs> They both seem like they'd be really fun to hang out with, though. Well, I mean, I don't think a lot's going to be working here much right now. We've, I've cast it in here like 50 times, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't blame you. Yeah, I just ripped it off and made it shorter. That way the hook's down. That's a nice one. Yeah, they want the help with my there, there you go. Beautiful. Toss them back. I'm to get a large mouth over here. Oh, that's a rock bat. Oh, nope, another green sunfish. All right, let's, whoa. Another beauty. Toss him back here. Well, that mission was accomplished there. We got him a small mouth and a rock bass, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna, um, I just dropped him off at the hotel and um, it cleaned up a little bit, eat, and then we're gonna head back to another creek. So you'll see that in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you.